Hey guys, this is Timothy A. I just noticed just now, right, right as I was, right before I uh, started recording this, I noticed that right here is a white ball or a white balloon. Okay. Um, that's significant in this video because yesterday, okay, I had a it's a little long of a story, but it's pretty amazing, at least for me it is. But um, yesterday I was feeling like I was going to have a seizure. I take medication for it, but sometimes it'll still happen. I haven't had one, an actual seizure, for over a year now. But every once in a while I get this feeling, and that the, the medication I take that's, um, you know, the anti-seizure medication often makes me kind of dizzy, and sometimes I think my body, my brain kind of gets triggered by if I had too much of the anti-seizure meds, it makes me so, you know, so much dizzier than normal that my brain starts acting up and thinking, hey, you know, something's wrong, uh, there's maybe a seizure going on, and so it puts me into, like, the aura mode. But anyways... So I thought I was going to have a seizure, so I came into my room pretty quick, and I was laying on my bed, and I prayed to God that if he would be willing to let me make it through this, obviously that I don't die, so that I could serve him more, okay, to keep on serving him. And uh, just then, right when I, I prayed that, Right after the last word I said, I got a beep on my phone. All right. So I pull out my phone and the first thing I see on there is this little Bible, um, you know, it's a Bible app notice. You know, they give you a verse every day or whatever. And it said, God takes care of you. And it has a heart there. I thought, man, that is crazy that happened. I mean, I know it was God. But that happened right, you know, I was, I had that in my mind from yesterday, right? And then I even told my parents about it. And yesterday, another thing I saw is I was working outside and I happened to look up. And I saw, and I didn't hear anything. I don't even know why I looked up there. I mean, now I know. But I looked up, and I saw the moon, okay? And then I have a picture of it. There was two, uh, like, chemtrails, contrails, whatever you want to call them, right, and it was right in the, the, the connection, right in the middle of the two, the X. And at first, I thought, hmm, I wonder if this is another sign from God, right? Because it said the first time, God loves you. So I thought, man, what could this possibly mean, right? X and moon, you know, this and that. And I thought harder, and then finally I was like, wait a minute, that's an X and the O. That's another sign for love, Right? Showing God's showing me again, um, you know, love. So I thought um, earlier today, that was yesterday. So those two events happened yesterday. Then today I'm working again and I'm listening to a sermon, right? And it's pretty amazing. You know, if you listen to all of it and know my situation, it is like tremendously insane, okay? just the connection and everything, but I was listening to a sermon, and I had this thought, I was like, you know, God gave me two signs yesterday, I wonder if he's going to give me a third sign, because I even asked my parents that last night, I said, you know, he's given me two signs, I wonder if he's going to give me a third sign, right, and I was kind of halfway expecting one last night, and I didn't get it, and so, um, yeah, I was, 
I was thinking that, and the moment I thought about that, I said, I wonder if God's going to give me a third sign, right? The, the pastor in the sermon says, uh, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Right the second that I, I thought that, he said, I have loved you, saith the Lord. And what he said before that, I, I went back and listened to again, was crazy. You know, I don't, I'm not going to go into that now, but it was just a crazy connection with myself. Um, but yeah, and then not only that, but he said it two more times within like 30 seconds. He said, I have love you, saith the Lord. He said it again and then again three times. Okay, that's that's like a confirmation in prophecy and in signs and whatnot, visions. So, but the, the other thing I wanted to mention now is today we had the uh, the Chinese, the white Chinese balloon that was shot down. You know, it was up there for I don't know how long, and then I think it finally got shot down. <laughs> And so I, I kind of watched that, and if you look, okay, let's put it here. So here's the contrail, right? And I don't think this is a contrail, but you see, you can see there's a, it's like a T or an X if you're looking that way. And I assume that the white balloon was somewhere around here. That's the main part when the explosion happens. So the 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 white balloon was right here. This is exactly what I saw yesterday in the sky. The white moon, a white sphere, and two chemtrails meeting right in the middle of it. So that was absolutely no accident. Okay? These are just... It's from God. That's all I can say. And uh, I think I'll have more. And I will uh, I'll go ahead and make some more videos and post them whenever that happens. But I'm going to make other videos on, on other things because uh, the very first notice that I got, you know, it said God loves you on my phone. It also said you, uh, something about using your time more wisely. Or you could be doing more in your day, or something like that. And so I, I'm taking that to heart. And um, I mean, what more could I do than service to God, right? I mean, that's got to be what God would want me to, to do, especially at this point with everything that I know. And I've, you know, I've been listening to sermons like crazy, you know? And everything I think about is related to God and his kingdom and prophecy and end times and all that and it's like I can't even help it it's in my mind whenever something happens boom I think you know how does this relate to prophecy in the Bible and and whatnot but anyway I will keep people updated on that and I've got more <laughs> just as crazy videos that I'll be putting out kind of relating to what has just happened lately but that's something i need still need to to pray about because it, it it can affect somebody close to me but anyway i will uh hopefully be back with more later so take care pray for america that we would repent as a nation we are manasseh that's related to another thing i was going to talk about but uh, yeah, Manasseh, the tribe of Manasseh's um, symbols are a fruitful branch and 13 arrows. That's America's sign. Did you know that? Did you know that Manasseh's symbols are a fruitful branch and 13 arrows? I bet you didn't, but it's right there every day, right in front of our faces, and hardly anybody knows that. They knew that they were Israel. 